Hi everybody, Melissa here. Thanks for watching again. I have a really awesome haul today. Uh, it's mostly contains, let me see what it is. It looks like Halloween stuff. So I have a bunch of stuff. Dollar Tree has outdone themselves this year with Halloween on my, you know, in my opinion. There is so many things, so many awesome things, some, so many things that you could like upscale um, and also some things that are just perfect the way they are. So to me, I love decorating for fall, for Halloween, all of that stuff, and then Christmas afterwards. But for right now, let's go into the Halloween stuff. I'm going to start off by doing the, um, the wood cutouts and wood signs and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to start with, and then I'll move on to the next thing. So please bear with me. I have a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to try to get through it and maybe give you some ideas and tips that things that I plan on doing with them. So first I'm going to do the pre-made signs. So this one, I just love this one. It says, come in for a spell. It has the adorable broom down here in the hat. I love this one. To me, this is great the way it is. This is how to be hung in my house. So that's that one. That's my first sign. I'm trying to find out where to put stuff. This is adorable as well. well I can get it off. The three pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns with the cute hat. Again, I love this one personally, but you could also do something with it, you know, if you wanted to. I did see somebody else do like turn it over so it could be like a dual sign and do like a snowman on the back with the cute hat. So I might do that. I haven't decided yet, but I think that is adorable. And it's just so, so cute. They really have vamped up their, their products in the past few years. Another one similar, but then it has the cat at the top. Again, I'm sure you could plan for something on the back as well, but I just think he's so cute. This one, I saw a picture of this and I knew I had to have it and I found it and I just love it. A welcome sign with the potion bottles. Absolutely love it. I just think that is so cute and I love the way they did it. It kind of looks like the faux wood in the back. It has a little spider here and the glitter around. A little tip. If you ever have something that has glitter on it and you know, you're like most people that don't like the glitter falling off everywhere, spray a little spray of hairspray on it. It kind of holds the glitter in place. But I think that's adorable. You can even do like little labels on the bottle, different funny little sayings. So that is so cute. Um, here's another one that I found that I thought was adorable. Trick or treat, pumpkins again with the witch hat. You could even take them apart and do something different because they are just attached by a little kind of like cord. Um, so you could also do that. Let's see. This one is cute. I think this is adorable. Welcome my pretties. I'm sure this will be hanging near my front door. So I really like that. And again, they're three separate pieces. So really, if you wanted to, you could take them apart and do something else with it, put it in a wreath or something. But I think it's so cute. And again, it has the glitter you can see there. Really pretty. And then we got a good old classic ghost with the sign boo on it. I'm really not sure why these are green and there's no green in here, but nonetheless, it's cute. You could also paint in there if you wanted to. I think he's cute and it's like nice. It's not like too thin. Like it doesn't seem like it had like a sticker on it. It actually seems like it's painted. Um, some of them like kind of have that feeling of like a sticker on it that's going to peel off, but this doesn't. I think it's so cute that way. All right. And then this one, I kind of knew I was going to break it because I bought it when I was out of town. So in the travels, it ended up getting broken. Not a big deal. It's just the legs. I'm just going to, you can see where the glue was. I'm just going to glue that right back on there and be good as new. But I just thought she was so cute. I thought my daughter would absolutely love her. And again, she has the, the glitter. You can see it shimmering and everything. And the legs are so cute with the little striped stockings. So I just got to glue that back on there and we'll be good to go. All right. Now I'm going to go on to, I think, the, the unfinished wood products. Um, there's a lot of 
lot, a lot, a ton of um, DIY products right now at Dollar Tree, which are always has been, but more so I feel like recently um, they've really become like a DIYers like whole world. Uh, they've been very busy, of course. Um, so there's so many things. I've seen so many different tips and tricks and different things that have been going on. Um, sorry, I hear something outside my window. Um, different things going on line that you know show you different ideas and tricks and everything for or little little DIY hacks so here's two of the things that I see eek and boo I thought they're nice these are nice and thick these are like the MDF kind of cutouts they have the hanger on them too with the twine these are so cute I've seen all different ideas with these I'm gonna plan on doing some things with these probably with some like gems or something and some maybe some scrapbook paper or, or even fabric you can mod podge on here that's what I plan on doing with those and then I have a whole stack of the wood cutouts here I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through these just because they're so cute and but they're all just unfinished you can see all the many possibilities. You got your happy Halloween, a little jack-o'-lantern here in the back. Detail on them are just awesome. Of course, just make sure you watch out. Sometimes you'll find one that has like the wing broke off or something like that, but you just pay attention to that. At the trick or treat with the jack-o'-lanterns in there. It's really cool how they did the different, the font one here with the points and everything. These would be awesome in like a wreath or anything like that. Um, here's one that says wicked, has the broom underneath and the hat up top with the moon. I love that. That would be awesome in a wreath for sure. Um, here's the cat with the pumpkin. There's a jack-o'-lantern. Got these two that are kind of like coffin shape. One has the jack-o'-lantern cutouts and one says trick or treat. A hat like kind of like the ship lap like or the, like the the slits in it so that's really cool I also have I'm not sure where the pumpkin went but I have a pumpkin that's like this as well and then a bat and then they had a couple different ones of these different like coffin shapes one had like a cross I think at the top or something I didn't care for that one so I got this one though I thought that was cute so the bat and the hat all together like I said there's also a pumpkin just a plain pumpkin, but it has the slats in it, which is really pretty as well. I do have one. I'm not sure where I put that, though. And then here we have the haunted house. They did have a few different ones of these. I didn't need all the different ones, so I only got this one. Um, but they had some, like, more that were more streamlined. They had a, I, at least three or four different ones, maybe even more. But this is the one I liked, just because it was more look more of like a haunted house and then I just I don't know why I saw these and I just love them Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein oh my gosh they're just perfect to me so I'm actually in the process of working on um, my painted ones which I'm not an artist by any means but I'm gonna try my my best and then I plan on like doing something like where I like kind of hang them together maybe on like I don't know the bathroom door or our master bedroom door I just thought that would be kind of kind of cute and then there's also skeletons kind of like the same thing Mr. and Mrs. Um, and then we have this here which is kind of they're all together. I don't know what they're considering it. it just says decor. Um, has the the headstones and then the skulls. And then you'll notice on the tags here, you know, we have Crafter Square, which most of the Crafter Square, like the normal stuff, is like the blue, I believe. I've also seen like a light green, but I'm not sure if that's like a more of a seasonal thing as well. But I know that the purple is Halloween. And then for the fall, it's orange. So where this says Crafter Square, different colors are going to be for different seasons, it seems like. At least that's what it's been looking like for the past, I don't know, like this past year. 
All right, so I got a couple of those. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. And then this is just adorable. This is a skeleton that has the jo different joints. I'll open it up for you, because he is just so cute. So he has the movable joints. Um, oh, it looks like this one didn't have his mouth all the way cut out, but that's okay. I can, I can just pop that out. So I'll just pop that out with like an X-Acto knife or something if it needs to be. Oh. Here we go. All right, so you see he is just so cute. All his joints moving. So I can't wait to, to do him. I'm probably gonna do him in some sort of like white maybe or like a like an off-white almost with like glitter on him. I think he would be so cool like with the light shines on him. And then here's a couple more signs. So we got this one, trick or treat. Sorry, somebody is outside of my window. Um, we got the skeletons. The spider. And then this one says happy Halloween. And this one is another haunted house. I love the frames and the designs on them. So another thing that I'm I've seen or that I want to try to do is you, you use these as stencils as well, whether you're making a, a canvas or if you're doing like a shirt and you want to um, like bleach it or something, you can use this as a stencil. You put this on the shirt and then you spray on it like you missed it with like a, uh, a spray bottle with the bleach solution in it. And then when you lift this up, it'll be left there. I'm sure it doesn't work perfectly because they're not all perfectly flat, but I'm going to try that with some of these. Um, Especially this one, I think that would be really cool on a nice black shirt. But then I also was thinking about, since these are thin, and I believe you can cut them pretty easily, is slicing them here and then using like the outer frame, just keeping the outer frame as like a frame for uh, if I wanted to bleach a shirt. So that's going to be some of my plans with those, along with painting them as well. And I also got my daughter a, a nice orange shirt, so we'll put this on the shirt and then spray the bleach. I thought that would look cute too and she's excited to do that so that's some of the stuff that I plan on doing with that they had a lot of options <clears throat> excuse me um, this wasn't even all of them uh, there was plenty more that I didn't even get I saw them kind of just moved on because I really did not need all of them um, so these off to the side I'm going to keep going on. I have like a bag here that I'm picking from. So I'm just going to keep going and, and showing you the different items. I thought this was so cute. Little, it's just like a little bucket. It has the handle and it actually has, it's hard to see. Oh, there you go. I think you can see it. It has the glitter on it too, on the one side. It's not too much though. It's nice. I mean, they're not the best. It's just a cardboard box, but like, it's just so cute. Put some candies in it or something. Or if you want to do a little gift basket for, um, you know, some little kid in your life or, or an adult, who knows, um, that would be really cute to use. And then we, oh, they stuck together. And then these were classified as Halloween trees. Personally, I think they're just like Christmas trees. So that's probably what I'm going to use them for. But they did have different colors that were probably more, um, you know would be more classified as Halloween they had like purple and black and they might have had some other ones but these were the ones that stuck out to me so I grabbed those uh -oh. and then we got this cutie guy here oh, can't even see it it's a ghost you know hang it in your tree in the front yard or something it's actually really nice it's long it has some styrofoam inside to kind of hold it out a little bit. So I'll probably put those in the trees in the front yard. And then these are adorable too. They're little cat treat sacks. They have like nice little drawstring that, uh, pulls in them. So these are going to be cute. I'm probably going to do like a, a little party for my daughter. Like a, you know, a couple of her friends come over for lunch, maybe do some crafts. And this will be like a little goodie bag for them. And then this is just a black, which I was surprised to find. You don't usually find these ones, the black ones. But this is a black metal, um, like a wreath hanger, like the door hanger. So I grabbed one of those. Okay. And then these little bag of skulls. 
I think, just think they're so cute. I'm actually just gonna do like a simple thing with this, maybe just like a cute bowl, but then fill it with the skulls instead to put in my kitchen or something. I think that would be so cute. And this guy is just so adorable. When I saw him, I just was like, oh, I need to get him. And I knew if I didn't get him, as soon as I saw him, I would, probably wouldn't be able to find him. So let me just pull off the little tag, turn him on, you can see that he's flashing. So cute, ceramic, so adorable. Just takes the battery. It's so cute, <laughs> I love him. All right, and then found some Halloween soap. So this is the little a black skull and it's a nice plastic container. I'm sure you could refill them, reuse them if you wanted to. And then this is just the ghost. This one is coconut lime scented, which smelled pretty good. This one smelled really good. It was, it's pomegranate vanilla. So these are adorable. I'll put these in the bathroom and the kitchen, of course. Okay, let's see what this is wrapped up here. I got some breakable stuff that was wrapped up a little bit. All right, and then these guys, uh, this was one of my, I wanna say one of my first buys for Halloween this year, um, just because I saw them and was kind of one of those things it's like oh they're not gonna last i'm getting them so we got the hear no evil speak no evil see no evil skeletons and they're all sitting kind of like crisscross or like with their legs to the side and stuff they're so adorable i can't wait to put these out i like on one of my shelves these are so cute they're just the detail on them is so cool and they're kind of like you know antique almost like with the the brown and stuff in the cracks so cute so they were as soon as i saw them i was like oh, i have to have them <laughs> there is no passing them up because i will never find them again i'm sure um i'm hoping they bring out some of this stuff again next year especially for some people that weren't able to find it i know they were having trouble getting some stuff into some of the stores um with some of the stocking issues and the truck issues and stuff like that but when you can find it grab it because you know it won't be there and i thought these were cute too they're um some mask sets this is, it says, it's from Orly. It's a Halloween costume accessory and fast face mask set. So this one's a kitty cat and it comes with the kitty cat ears and the mask. These are adult. Um, they do, I, I have seen them in kids. I missed out on those, unfortunately. Should have grabbed them as kind of one of those things afterthought. And then this one's kind of like a, it's like a cheetah print almost with like a pretty floral headband. So I thought they were adorable. Um, so I'm sure there's some kids that would be able to fit them or you could tie up the side or something and they would work for them or of course if you want to wear them to work or something or if you just like being a fun adult you know that would always work as well I thought this was adorable for my daughter this is a DIY pinata craft set so I thought maybe she could make this when we try to do her little craft day party um, we can have her do that maybe I'm not sure if it actually works I'm assuming so but we will see. All right. All right, and then we got this here, cute little pumpkin, just glass. I got a couple of them. They'd be really cute to hang up with some tea lights in them. So cute, pretty orange color. So I believe this was a set I don't remember if these were the two that came together, but there was all different bandana sets. A lot of them came like two in a pack. So here's one of the bandana prints that I found, and I believe this was in the same packaging. Um, so this one has like the, the spider web with like some of the classic ma um, bandana prints and the spiders. So, but I'm pretty sure they came together. There was all different kinds of um, sets for those. Uh, so then we got some spiders. You know, probably put them outside in a one of the fake spider webs. And then we also got a bigger one too, or just a different style. This is kind of more of the, I don't know, that plastic like garland stuff on it. Whereas this one's like fuzzy. So I also got, oh, I found some more wood cutouts. Let's see what's going on here. No ghost so adorable I was thinking about trying to take them off the base maybe I'm not sure yet but I just thought that was cute even if I just let like each one of us paint one and then we can put them up for decoration 
Here's some little decor, which would be adorable, either by itself or in like a wreath or something like that, or on like a tiered tray. Welcome to our haunted home. The witch, the witch is in. I didn't tell you. I'm not going to tell you who I got that for. It might be me. Um, some witches brooms. I thought these were so cute. They had different color ones. I think they had like orange, black, and then these are the purple ones. I thought they would be adorable um, in like a tear tray with one of the signs or in a wreath or something like that. Really cute. And then I thought these were absolutely adorable. They had all different colors. Some were classified as um, as fall and some were classified as uh, as Halloween. Sorry. So these ones were classified as Halloween. You can see Ooh, that one's upside down the purple sign on them so I thought these were really pretty I love the color of these especially these two and when I do my hollow or my fall haul when I do my video for that you'll see there's another color that I would love to mix in with this it's like a pretty coral color and these are really cool because they have a clip on them so they'd be really easy to like if you have one of those wreaths that you like to leave up all year round and just um, change it up for different seasons and different things these would be awesome for that because you can just clip them on, clip them off, and you can switch out certain colors or whatever if you have one of your staple colors in there and then you just switch out some of the other things for um, different times of the year. I thought these were cute. This is actually a Halloween a pet costume. I'm not quite sure if my dog would wear these. Maybe I'll try. Um, I mean, my dogs are good, but who knows if they would actually like this but if not I thought it would be really cute to use as a craft whether it's a, a wreath or um, even like decorating like a pumpkin like a faux pumpkin as a bat I thought that would be really cute and then these are I saw these and this was another thing that I just had to grab right away because I just thought these were the cutest. Um, they're little jack-o'-lantern treat bags. There is four bags in each pack and they have a piece of twine to tie them closed as well. These are so cute. The size is a really nice size. Uh, you could do a lot of different things whether you use them for decorations, you know, put some stuffing in them or some corn or rice or something to hold them down and, and decorate with them or use them as treat bags or something like that. I thought they were so cute. So I got a couple packs of those. And these are some witch hat picks, which are awesome. And, and you know, you could cut the, the pick off and you can use the hat as something, you know, in your tear tray as a decoration, or you can use it as an addition to a wreath or a floral arrangement of some sorts as well. You could even make, even take that pick off and make it like a, put it on a headband. That would be a cute little, little side piece of, of, of little decoration for your head. Uh, headband for you. So I thought this was really cute. Oh, this isn't the one I was thinking, but this is cute as well. I'm not sure where the other one, I found some other ones. This is the same thing, I think. So these are some sparkle mesh. They have purple spider webs on them. If you can see that, I know it's kind of hard with some of the glares and stuff. So they also had some other ones that I'm not sure if I have them in this bag or not, um, that were actually they, they didn't have the spider webs, but they were like sparkle and they were glow in the dark. So check those out. I'm going to do some sort of a, a wreath probably with these or something. I'm not quite sure. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and then we got some, some uh, just as decor. They're, I guess they're, yeah, they're foam some foam bones and they're nice and glittery and cool so that's really cool like vase filler or like you know some sort of decorative accent to something to glue them on or whatever I thought they were cute and some pretty napkins this would be really cool to do on a, a sign as like with Mod Podge um, like decoupaging it onto it or onto um, Oh, one of the foam pumpkins, sorry. I knew I had another idea in there. These are cool too. These are some tongs, but they're hands, so I figured I can use them as anything really, some sort of decoration. I can put them like in the ground coming out, like, you know, outside or something to decorate the yard or the flower bed. 
Here's some spiders. Again, they have the cool little clips on the back, so they're really neat to be able to add to different things around your house that you keep up all year or that you like to change out. And then this, the other pumpkin sitting in the bottom of my bag, it had, I guess, came off, but they're just easy glue on. They just have like a little pick that went through it um, that I can just glue it back on. But these, again, I'm gonna use these probably with those flowers and stuff and make some sort of floral arrangement on a wreath. Um, so I thought those ones were pretty. I like that colors. And, and then we got some cookie cutters, some fun shapes. It'd be really cool to play with with the kids, make cookies, or they can even use them with like Play-Doh or something like that. So you got a couple different shapes here. So there was the two different packs. These were the only two I saw. I don't know if there was other ones, but these were the ones that I saw. And we got some little cauldrons they had different colors of these they had purple and orange and they had different sayings i just got the little black ones i thought they were cute it just says happy halloween there's four in a pack i thought this would be cute to like if they were doing a craft on the table or something maybe with her friends and my daughter's friends and put the little stuff in here that they're going to do their crafts with here's another wood piece jack-o-lantern All right, and then we got a couple uh, metal signs here. They did have some other styles, but these were the ones I got. This is the ghost. You can see it's the galvanized uh, plaque there. A witch's hat. And a pumpkin. I thought they were pretty. You can use them as like magnet boards in the kitchen, which are, you know, it's always fun to use. Um, and then these, I thought these were so cute. They're a skeleton garland. Some of their heads are kind of turned, but they're just so adorable. They're in a nice uh, twine string. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna put them up yet, um, but I did go back and actually bought some more of them because as I was like organizing and sorting some stuff, I found some, they were um, like the wooden boxes, but it was shaped as like a coffin. So I thought that would be so funny for them to like put these in there. They were like almost the same perfect size. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with them yet, but that was one of the ideas I had when I came across that. I got like two more things in here. All right. And then this one is just too much, too adorable. They had different colors of these. I just personally love the purple one. I got a couple of him. Super, super cute. And then we got some foam pumpkins. I haven't been able to find the white ones that some people have been finding, but I did find the orange and the black. Um, so I've been doing a couple projects with these. Hopefully I'll post those when I'm finished. Um, some of them I'm just gonna cover, some I'm splitting in half and doing different signs and stuff, so we'll see. And then this little guy, he was kind of with the like, um, the Day of the Dead things items. So I thought he was just, I love the colors of them and stuff. Not too much into the skulls, but I did like that a lot. And then this one, I don't know, they broke off in the bag. They just, again, they just blew right onto these clips. There was a whole set of them. They're in the bottom of the bag. So they're just bats. Nice, pretty, glittery bats. And then we got a couple of these signs here. And then these are just some little wood packs of the wooden words. There's like three in each one. So we got Wicked and Boo. I think that was the only words I got. They might have had some other ones too. Um, and then here's some other little, you got the cats, little wood figures, which would be really pretty. You know, let your kids paint or to make like a, um, a string of garland or something like that. You got the, the cats, the witch hat, some ghosts, and then some of the, the jack-o'-lanterns. And then I got this for my daughter to be able to kind of decorate herself and I'll let her put this somewhere and, and do what she wants with it. But it's the, the little Halloween tree and then the mini ornaments. And then I got her the string of purple lights because it's an orange and black tree. So I figured the purple lights would look pretty on there. And then there's one more thing that I don't know what you want to classify it as. It could, I guess, some of it's fall, but I'm going to show them now just so I can so I don't forget about them later. But these are some color your own things here. This one's a pretty 
um, kind of looks like it has the skeleton vibe uh, with the different patterns here. It's the owl. And then here's another little owl. So I guess this one's more fall, but I already have them here. So he's so cute. And then there was a, uh, I guess like almost like a gourd. It looks like the shape. I'm not sure if they had some more items like that, um, but they were the ones that I found. So that's what I got. So that's it for now. I will be posting um, or recording my my fall items soon as well uh, so I can then go ahead and work on my project so I can excuse me, put them out um, with my daughter because she's really looking forward to decorating for um, the holidays of course. Um, so with that, let me just double check, yep. With that, I'm gonna be finished and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.